Hello everybody, welcome to JF TV. I'm Jay Lab and this is Football Manager 2016, the Unemployment Challenge. I've just finished the first two months of the Premier League season of August and September, so let's see how we got on. Our first game in the Premier League campaign was at home to last year's runners up in the Premier League Tottenham Hotspurs and we went behind inside the 21st minute of the game thanks to Eric Dyer scoring the opening goal of the game and we found ourselves going 2 0 down with Cedric was able to play the ball in and Thiago was able to pounce on the ball to score. And it was 3 0 in the 40th minute of the game when Christian Eriksen scored with that free kick to really make it look ominous for us as to what to expect in the Premier League campaign. Our first league game in the Premier League, for some reason the stadium is not being used, I think it's only the um, city seats for some reason being used in every home game so far, and we just didn't really do ourselves justice at all. Ah, <sighs> five yellow cards as well, so not helping my cause. And Tottenham just dominated us. Our next game was away from home against Liverpool and Isco scored into the 10th minute of the game with that free kick. What a goal for Isco. And it was in the 37th minute of the game that we found ourselves going 2-0 down. Coutinho found Dan Broad and Broad scored in the 37th minute of the game with his second goal of the season. And it was in the 54th minute of the game that the last goal was scored. Markovic was able to find Dan Broad who wasn't going to miss a chance to score from there. 3-0 and they just absolutely tore us apart as well. Even if we had more shots on goal. Our next game was at home to West Brom and we finally got our first Premier League goal of the season when Borsov's shot was saved and Miska was able to pounce on the rebound to give us our first ever Premier League goal. And it was 14 minutes later that we found ourselves 2-0 up. Fabiani found Cooper, he's cross found Borsov and he's not going to miss a chance like that in his life. First ever goal for Macclesfield Town. But West Brom started the fight back. Brooms found Connor, he found Obson and he somehow scored with that effort his first of the season. And two minutes later, West Brom equalised. Allen found Obson for who scored his second goal of the game in just three minutes. However, in the 82nd minute of the game, we found ourselves taking a lead for the second time in this match. Preston found Lucas, he found Borsov, and Borsov got his second goal of the season, which is more than he did in his last club already. However, we found Saskia seeing the goal in the 91st minute of the game when Prunes' cross was found by Obson and he got his hat-trick. A great effort from him but not the day we were looking for and definitely not what we were hoping to find ourselves fighting in our second game at home. Our next game was at home to Torquay United in the League Cup and we found ourselves going 1-0 up in the 15th minute of the game when Corchia found the Silva Lopez who scored his first goal this season. It set us through to the third round of the League Cup for the very first time, which I'm happy about, but we didn't really do ourselves just, we didn't have any many shots on target, and we could have done a lot better really, in my personal opinion. Our first game in September was away from home against Leicester City, and Otto's cross found Talisi, who scored his third goal of the season after it hit, hit the crossbar. It's in the 64th minute of the game that Leicester found ourselves 2-0 up, Okoye scoring his first goal of the season from that corner after it found its way to him. And six minutes later we considered the penalty and Talisi managed to make it 3-0 with his fourth of the season and second in the game. We were not enjoying ourselves in the Premier League this season. Our next game was away from home against, at the time, bottom of the table Swansea City and we found ourselves going behind in the first 29 seconds of the game when Barge was able to score thanks to a mistake from Corchia. But it was 2 0 in the first half of the game when Andre Ayu scored with that effort for his first goal this season. But in the 45th minute of the game, we found ourselves getting a goal back. Borsov found Malombi, and Malombi scored his first goal since coming back from injury. And in the 54th minute of the game, we found ourselves making the game 2 2. Preston found Borsov who was not going to miss a chance like that for his third goal of the season. Were we going to get a point? No. In the 83rd minute of the game, Williams' shot was saved by Mitov, only to find its way going to Lawson, who scored his first goal of the season to give Swansea all three points and ensure that we had lost four of our first five matches in the league. 
Our next game was at home to Stoke City. We're looking to get a win, our first of the season, and Borsov scored that goal in the 60th minute of the game to give us the lead. In the 83rd minute of the game, though, Stoke equalised. Origi scoring that with that effort, making me wonder, are we ever going to get our first win in the Premier League campaign? And we did, four minutes later from this corner. What is... Verkic was able to get his first, Verkic was able to get his first ever goal for Manchester Town to give us all three points and our first ever victory in the Premier League. I could not have been more relieved if I wanted to. We found ourselves going to Reading in the Capital One Cup for the third round and Cooper scored the opening goal of the game in the 19th minute with his first goal of the season after Mesca played him in. However, it was the 64th minute of the game that we found ourselves conceding the equaliser when Pounce scored with that effort. It's one of those goals you just don't save, unfortunately. However, in the 79th minute of the game, we found ourselves guessing ourselves back in front. Cooper found Mesca, who found the back of the net in the 79th minute for his second goal of the season. And just three minutes later, we found ourselves 3 1 up. Mesca found Chiappi, and Chiappi scored his first goal of the season to give us the win and to ensure we got through to the full round of the League Cup for the very first time in our history. The last game of September was against Huddersfield Town at home and Cooper gave us the lead and had the 15th minute of the game and his shot winning it off the post. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't, but this time it did. However, Huddersfield found themselves an equaliser in the 30th minute of the game when Mitos was unable to really keep that out and hold on to it. So Fallsburg was able to get his first of the season. But just a minute later, we found ourselves taking the lead. Wallace scoring after Malombi's shot was powered out to him for his first goal of the season. And just four minutes later, it was 3-1. Wallace found Owen, he found Verkic, and he found Borsov with that lovely pass. Borsov's fifth goal of the season. Not bad for £1.6 million, is it? However, Flynn was able to get a goal back for Huddersfield Town when he scored with that header to give Huddersfield a chance to make it 3-2. But we were able to make it 4-2 when Wallace scored his second goal of the game to give us all three points. After we managed to get the, our two consecutive wins, thanks to the wins against Stoke and Huddersfield, we are now out of the relegation zone by three points, though our defence is one of the worst, having conceded 15 goals in the first five matches. It was rather embarrassing. The only reason the Villa have considered more goals is because they were beaten... 7-3 by Manchester United and 5-3 by Sheffield Wednesday and 4-0 by Arsenal. It's a kind of embarrassing defeat. You don't want to admit to anyone that you could see if seven goals against anyone, let alone against someone like Manchester United. Well, yeah, kids Man United can understand, but it's probably annoying that you do anyway. But anyway, I'm hoping that you have enjoyed this video. Hope like and favourite this video really helped me a lot. Uh, Vasil Velsov has done really well for me so far, and I'm hoping he can continue his fine, fine form. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.